Catch you, Fuzz. No. Good shot. Thank you. Your turn. Ooh, town's so quiet. Maybe time for brave style vacation? A little too quiet, Fuzz. A marshal learns to read a town. This one feels like there's pressure building up. Wrong time for a vacation. It might blow. There it goes. Who's my bad shot? Zeke. Hey, Zeke. Oh, hi, Marshal. Uh, deputy. Can you get the star hoop? Thanks. You okay? Yeah, fine. Just like him. Yep. Seems ready to blow, all right. Sure wish we could afford more than one glass of sweet water. Well, if we don't strike some carrium soon, we're gonna end up drinking lizard milk. Howdy, Fred. Double sweet water. I got no money for sweet water. The mine's gone bust. <laughs> On me. Thanks, Handlebar. Well, seems like this is the longest we ever went without somebody finding Carrium. Yeah, maybe it's time to head for another planet. This here new Texas is played out. All right, boys, that's enough. We're gonna get folks upset for no good reason. Going broke's a good reason. How oh, these Mr. Handlebars? How these fellas? What can I do for you? <laughs> we like him sweet water. Now, where'd you fuzzballs get enough money for sweet water? Money? Uh, we got. Carry him. Well, boy, howdy. Where'd you get this, you critters? Hold on now. No name calling in my place. Hey, stay out of this, Handlebar. We just want to ask these critters a question. I told you, no name calling. Answer the man. Where'd you find that? Where'd you get that carrium? Stop those critters! There's gonna be trouble. Carrium! 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 Folks have some kind of problem? Yeah, yeah, there, there, there's a problem. We're starving, and those critters got carrium, and, and they ain't even human. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? We just want to know where them critters found that carrium. Yeah, they don't need carrium. Carrium's for real people. Where they got that carrium is their business. Well, Marshal, we're making it our business. Draw those neutralizers, and it's gonna be the law's business. Hey, what's going on? Fire. I warned you once. I won't again. Strength of the bear. bear! Now get out of here before I really get irritated. You think the marshal will be protecting us instead of them? Them? Don't say it. I'm really worried, Brave Star. Mm -hmm. It's carrying fever. Makes folks plumb crazy. Well, somebody's gonna strike pay dirt sooner or later. I just hope it's sooner, for the prairie people's sake. Well, so those little critters are rich. Wait till I tell Tex Hex. Brave Star! The town is dry, but the prairie people have lots of carrion. Then I'll steal it. <laughs> Tex Hex strikes it rich while everybody else goes broke. <laughs> the only problem is the kill 
Or you must be in the middle of the Perry People settlement. If we just go in and take it, that Marshal Busybody will be down on us for sure. Wish there was a way of keeping an eye on Brave Star. Oh, Thunderstick, you're not as stupid as you look. Maybe we can keep an eye on that miserable Marshal. I'll check out one of my little friends. Well, my little tiny flies by. I have a job for you. Seems to me we should find out where they keep their carrium. I say it's our duty to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, what do we need that carrium, carrium for, for anyhow? Huh? Yeah, well, let's go. Ah, we catch that some bag. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. You three stay put. You'll just get in more trouble. Heck with Brave Star. Let's go get that carrium. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. What's going on here? folks are acting loco. Well, we've been talking it over and we decided. Yeah, them prairie people are gonna have to tell us where they mine their carrium. And what if they don't want to? <laughs> we'll make them. Yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, darn right. Not while I'm Marshal. <laughs> Wonderful. Couldn't be better. Them stupid prospectors are gonna help me get that Carrium. They are? How come? Because they're going to declare war on those wicked prairie people. <laughs> <laughs> you sure? As sure as I'm text are terrible. Brave Buzz. Say, what's the trouble, little bard? I know that, Fuss. You see, when things go wrong, some people just have to blame others. And they usually pick on somebody who can't protect himself. But I won't let anything bad happen. They'll get over it. Why, everybody knows that the prairie people are the gentlest, the most peaceful. That's the alarm from JB's office. Get 3030 and meet me there. What do you want? You burst in here waving a gun. Knock off the trickies. Let's go. Get moving. No. That away. You'll regret this, Buster, I promise. Talkie, talkies. You hushing up. Hold it. Now throw down your weapon. Surprise, Marshal. Oh. <laughs> Answer that bushwhacker, Sarah. Hey! <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> can't. I might hit JB. What nerve. Those blasted little critters took JB. Mouse, you called us critters? No, Fuzz. I, I didn't mean that. Honest. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure those were real prairie people. Well, them critters looked like prairie people to us, Marshal. And they just captured JB. Still feel like protecting them, Marshal? Buzz, I'm sorry. Critters just slipped out. Buzz understands. You, you upset about JB. Thank you, Fuzz. I think he's right. They're not real prairie people. Well, what else could they be? First they hog all the carry him, then they nab JB, and you're still protecting them. 
I'm not just jumping to conclusions. And I'm remembering what good friends the furry people have been to us in the past. Look, they send message cards. Greetings, Marshall Bravestar. We prairie people, sick of humans robbing planets. We now demand that you delivering all carrium in town to us, or we keep judge prisoner forever. <laughs> You hear that? The nerve of them varmints. Ransom! Uh, we've had all we're gonna take from them crooked little sand rats. Yeah, we're gonna go out there and drive them into the Badlands. My hunch is that you're a lot more interested in carrying than in saving JB. Just remember, this is still the law's business. If I need your help, I'll ask for it. Hmm. These people won't carry him so bad, they don't care who they hurt. Seems that when some people have problems, they like to blame it on people who are different from them. We'd better get moving before there's more trouble. But I like trouble. I have a feeling you're gonna get it. Now let's go. Ready, stop! on the carrion for himself. Yeah, he sure ain't doing much about them taking Judge J.B. Rick was a marshal. I say we ride out there and handle them critters ourselves. Yeah, we'll rescue J.B. Yeah, get all the carrion. between us and the natives once in the K-Flux galaxy. Only we was on the receiving end that time. What do you mean, old timer? Well, there was fewer of us humans on that planet, so any time anything happened, we was the ones that got blamed. Dad taught me a lesson, though. Never judge a thing until you slithered a mile in its trail. <laughs> you really don't know how somebody feels until you have experienced what they have. Hmm, oh, good advice. You think the marshal can get the judge back from him? He's kind of sweet on her, ain't he? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Ah, oh, come on, you guys are friends. He would have told you. Nobody around, you can tell me. Well, he did say the other thing. What the flight? Oh, oh drat. <laughs> it worked. War is about to be declared. The mutants are gonna attack the prairie people! <laughs> Yippee! It is... We're gonna get all the carry on! Huh? <laughs> oh, she got away, Turnabout! That female!
female judge is making me mad! <laughs> my turbo stallion and my hammer. <laughs> She's in trouble. I'd say we got here not a moment too soon. Come on, big partner. Let's ride. Today, Hex. Strength of the bear. Bear, bear, bear. Another time, brave star. Well, that takes care of Hex for a while. Now to try to keep those prospectors from attacking the prairie people. I think maybe I've got just the thing to convince them. Let's go. <laughs> This was the law's business, and I meant it. Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Marshal Wave's down. You ought to keep out of this, Marshal. We're going to punish them little prairie rats for taking JB. You mean me? Thanks for your concern, boys, but we've got the varmints. They were Tex Hex's robots. Oops. I think you three owe the prairie people an apology. Yes, you're right, Marshal. That carrying fever made us plumb loco. It was wrong of us to blame the prairie people for our problems. I'd, I'd sure like to apologize. Huh? No, 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 no. Hold on there. We're, 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 we're sorry. Apology accepted. <laughs> was very wise today. What he told Fuzz was good advice. You see, when things go wrong, some people just have to blame others. And they usually pick on somebody who can't protect himself. This is important lesson for everyone. If you've done something wrong, don't try to put the blame on someone else. It will just make things that much harder when the truth comes out. <laughs> 